to, um, after you've read this book, the next book I'd recommend for you, uh, if you're going to read one more book in your life, is Larry Sidentop's book called Inventing the Individual, The Origins of Western Civilization. Sidentop is a great Oxford scholar. I don't think he's a believing Christian of any kind. I, I may be doing him injustice there, but that's what I'm told. And he investigates the emergence of the Western, the unique Western civic culture. And he comes to the scholar's conclusion that this was not a product of the renunciation of Christianity. It all flowed directly out of Christianity. So even if you go back before Christianity again to the Old Testament, the most radical pro-human rights statement in the ancient world was the statement in the book of Genesis that God created human beings in his own image. This was a very revolutionary idea for the ancient world. Creation was good, God created the universe and he created human beings in the likeness of God. Nobody had made a claim like that for human nature before uh, the book of Genesis. Then along came Christianity with an absolutely revolutionary <coughs> message of universalism. In the ancient world, uh, <clears throat> there had been no rights for slaves, no rights for foreigners, not many rights for younger sons, and not many rights for women and girls. It was really male heads of family. And, and even when uh, the Greeks said mankind is the, is the measure of everything, what they meant was property owning male heads of families. Christianity said, famously, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, you are all one in Christ Jesus.